25.8 million Americans have it. About 1.9 million new cases are diagnosed every year, and it was the seventh leading cause of death listed on U.S. death certificates in 2006. Diabetes. Its prevalence is growing despite the fact that prevention and management are within our reach. What's more, diabetes comes with a hefty price tag, as millions of dollars are spent every year to combat it. These costs are in direct correlation to the complications associated with the disease, among the most devastating diabetic ulcers. If left untreated or not treated properly, these wounds can lead to amputation or premature death. To treat a diabetic ulcer after diagnosis, on average, will cost $45,000. If that wound fails to heal because they did not get a multidisciplinary approach, the cost of an amputation goes as high as $67,000. Dollars alone doesn't tell the story. The true story is in human suffering and having to adjust to a life other than what they expected. There is no financial price tag that you can put on that. In 2007, more than 60% of non-traumatic lower limb amputations were done for people with diabetes. But throughout the introduction of a comprehensive foot care program administered by a WOCNCB certified nurse, amputation rates can be reduced by 45 and 85%. A comprehensive program in foot and wound care is critical for all patients, but especially the diabetic patient facing limb salvage. It is going to involve a multidisciplinary team involving the physician, as well as nurses at a variety of levels, including the certified nurse. That team is going to not only know, but apply the evidence base. And that evidence base is always evolving, so they have to stay on the cutting edge. The care will be holistic. It will be centered on the patient, and not on the wound. And lastly, there has to be ongoing patient education. With a chronic disease model like diabetes, the ongoing education is critical for the long-term success of everyone. These specialists help us manage costs by practicing evidence-based medicine, uh, helping us manage our supplies, pick our supplies, uh, helping us uh, not have readmissions, they just do a real good job of that with their highly specialized training and they help us lower our cost in that way. Aside from the cost factors, diabetic foot ulcers can take an emotional toll on the patient and family as well. Patient Dick Bernath suffered complications from a small wound on one of his toes. The wound failed to heal despite the treatment he was receiving from his primary care physician ultimately resulting in the amputation of his toes and forefoot. I was at another hospital and I was being treated for uh, an ulcer on my heel and also an amputation of my forefoot. And the healing process wasn't going along very well. So they referred me to this clinic here. Diabetes is a complex disease which requires a complex management approach. But as the standard of care for diabetics is taken to new heights, these complexities can become more streamlined, resulting in a better understanding of how to self-manage disease, lower health care costs, and people living longer, healthier lives. The Wound Ostomy Continents Nursing Certification Board's mission is to provide the highest standard of consumer care and safety through the credentialing process within the areas of wound, ostomy, continence, and foot care nursing. The Wound Ostomy and Continence Nursing Certification Board is continuing to set the highest standards for those living with chronic wounds. A nurse certified by WOCNCB is one of the most important members of the healthcare team for patients with diabetes who have a lower leg wound. Nurses who have earned WOCNCB certification have met the most stringent educational and clinical requirements. Well, the first criteria is that they must be a registered nurse. 
The second criteria, if they're seeking wound, ostomy, or continent certification, is that they hold a bachelor's degree. From there, they go on and either do formal education or do an individualized learning plan in order to make themselves eligible to apply for certification. Registered nurses who do not hold a bachelor's degree can seek certification in foot care. Recertification is mandatory every five years and that validates knowledge and that nurses are current on the evidence base so that they maintain the best for their patients. For hospitals, WOCNCB certified nurses improve patient safety through direct care and by elevating staff education. Standardizing evidence-based practice to the bedside reduces complications and medical malpractice claims. And the difference they're making in the lives of their patients is astounding. They're just invaluable to us. The patients love them, the physicians love them, uh, and the patient families love them because they teach the fam patient families how to take care of their loved ones as well. Now my quality of life is a lot better than it has been for the past three years. I can move around, get around, do things that I couldn't do before. Nursing is important in and of itself. However, working as a board-certified wound ostomy continence nurse is perhaps one of the most challenging and rewarding things I've ever done. The ability to work with patients and actually improve lives lets you go home at the end of the day feeling that you've really made a difference. Being board-certified in wound ostomy continence nursing gives me the freedom to actually do those things that I need to be able to do for a patient. I have an expanded role with patients. Patients look to me for the answers. My physician partners look to me for the answers. It's a very unique role, but I can't imagine any role that is more fulfilling. Nurses who want empowerment to improve the lives of their patients with diabetic ulcers are encouraged to seek out the certification. WOCNCB certified nurses are among the most accomplished nursing specialists and have been recognized by the American Nurses Association. The Wound Ostomy and Continence Nursing Certification Board is the gold standard for wound ostomy continence and foot care nursing. For more information, visit us at wocncb.org.